What up, RC fam? So here's Dirty Dan. It's not Dirty Dan no more, I guess. I painted it blue, so it's got that rusty look underneath when I scratch it up. And I, I use just regular old acrylic paint. So we'll see how long it lasts and how good it scratches up out here on the rocks. I've been letting it sit for a few days. I still gotta take a black paint pen and hit the windows. Rick in there enjoying himself. Come on, Rick. You can't even reach the wheel, bud. What's wrong with you? He's fucking stoned. All right. Let's see. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what this thing's quite capable of. I'm used to my my POS's performance over scale. <laughs> All right. Let's get it. Catch it up, Rick. Catch it up, bud. That's what it's for. Yeah. Alright, you're in a pickle, Rick. You're in a pickle, Rick. That's already picking up, Rick. Don't you do it. You've been smoking too much, brother. You done it now, Rick. You done it now. I bet we got some scratches. Oh yeah. Let's see what happened. Not too bad. I told you to stop, Rick. You wouldn't make it, bud. Anything in the back? Alright. Put it to the test some more. Little truck go. 5,000 mile battery in that thing too. Sorry guys, huh? you should see me walking around on this stuff. I ain't no spring chicken no more. You got side here going to get me. The tires are going to get me. Stock foams in there just folding. 25 pound rig. Just kidding. It's heavy. Oh, geez. <laughs> That's not good. Hang on, Rick. Or you're gonna lose it right there on the rear end. Oh, Rick. Good drive it, Rick. Starting to doubt your driving skills there, Rick. side hill it's not too bad don't look like much on camera but that thing weighs 20 plus pounds that's all like sprung weight see look at them tires it's gotta be 20 pound rig i'm just kidding if i had to guess though it's gotta be eight pounds eight and a half i don't know i should weigh it we'll, we'll do that <laughs> Anyway, that was impressive. Oh, yeah, that. 
I cannot get that to go where well, I can, but I need some longer rod ends. I need to stretch that front end out a little bit. But until then, we're getting that rubbage that we just seen. I get some uh, some of them Traxxas 5525s or whatever they are, the old Jado ones. We'll stretch it out a little bit and make that work. Or I'm just gonna switch it back to the F10 portals and put the Traxxas ones on the mutt and rock and roll from there. I don't know. I don't know. I like both axles. They're both really good. Let's see if we can get up this big rock over here. Make me proud, Rick. You're a good driver, bud. Snatch the hell out of it. Scratches though. You got scratches though. Maybe not. Yeah, oh, see? Look at big motherfucker sticking that. Come on. I didn't touch it. Look at that. Well, that big body was saving it. Still, for that 25 pound sprung weight truck, that's impressive. Yeah, yeah. Scratch it up. <laughs> Holding up pretty good. This is one of the hardest climbs in the park. I've got that one. It's on the channel. Only seen three rigs get this climb. My rig, I call the Mutt. BB got it once. That's my chopper. And the mutt will slay BB all day long. And the negative G, my buddy's negative G truck. Woo. So many options. Oh my god. Where'd it go? Flat. Didn't even drop his dirty. Hell yeah, we pulled up that. I'm, I'm impressed. Whether you get over that or not. What? Twenty-five pound Phoenix. 
25 pounds of all sprung weight. Oh, holy shit, Batman. No way we're coming down this. Nope, just stop. Just just stop it. See, I'm used to doing stuff like this. No, you're not doing it. Right up against that rock. Yeah! Oh yeah! He's scratching nicely. That's some nice scratches. accomplished I guess. We got some scratches. about to climb up, check out the damages, and we'll swap out trucks. It's been fun though. This thing did kill it. Take a look. All right, hopefully you guys can see this pretty good. It's not really looking rusty. It looks more black. It should look rusty underneath there. That should be black. The fenders were black. But the truck, if you remember the color, is that rusty goldish, copperish looking color. That's a nice one. See, you can see it there. It's just hard to come through on the camera.
Turn it around. Came out pretty nice. Not disappointed at all. It chipped away nicely. You really had to scratch at it. Just flipping over didn't really hurt it too much. I noticed a couple flips didn't even hurt it. But oh, you see me, I was deliberately trying to scratch it up pretty good. All that hard work. Thanks for joining me. Let's get it.